It's another day with the physicians where your health is our business. It's good for the eggs, so they are not going to take some drastic measures. But a 10 year old coming. But also to know that not only when your pressure is high, that you have your hormones. Sugar, and I don't know about any other one, but what you know on the You're welcome back to the next one. The World Children's Day was first established in 1954 as Universal Children's Day and is celebrated on 20th November each year to promote international togetherness, awareness among children worldwide and improving children's welfare. The COVID-19 crisis resulted in child rights crisis. The cost of the pandemic for children are immediate and if unaddressed, they last a lifetime. As the physicians join the rest of the world in marking the world's Children's Day, our topic today, Lifeboat, Saving Lives, we'll be focusing on a lifeboat project aimed at teaching children emergency solutions and proper medical knowledge that can be implemented when faced with the issue of saving lives in any accident or disaster. As usual, the physicians don't go away, just stay tuned. Welcome to a regular TV health talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. Today we'll be talking about lifeboats saving lives. My name is Dr. Martina Agbere. As usual, I'm not alone. I have my very elegant co-host, Ironman Dr. Memuna Yusuf Kadri. And of course, welcome to your regular health TV talk show, where your health is our business. Yes, indeed. Health is our business, and that's what we're doing. Today, we'll be talking about lifeboats, saving lives. lives. Does it ring a bell? Yeah. Um, of course, we know that those are kind of emergency situations where you when if if needed and is not you know available meaning timely intervention things can go wrong you ha just have to move so one <laughs> thing that is very uh, interesting uh, in today's topic about lifeboat saving lives is the the guests that we have that will be handling it you know we always talk about the physicians where your health is our business and we also say is a family uh, oriented, oriented program, program. Yeah. so Everyone can actually key in. You have the doctors coming, you have the pharmacies, you have the nurses, you have the caregivers coming. Even in. health enthusiasts coming in. Beautiful. Oh. Yes. So to this point, we have a young girl who is coming to tell us more about um, lifeboats. I think I can't actually wait to hear her speak, tell mm -hmm. me about it. Because you know, you were celebrating the International Children's Day. Yeah. And uh, it's their right. It's their right. Yeah, exactly. And they also need to tell us what they are doing to, to serve humanity and how they are also saving lives. So having children on board is a welcome idea. I feel like the, well, the, the pandemic is still here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know how it actually affected uh, children or uh -huh. it's still affecting children. It's affecting it's children. Disrupting their education, mm -hmm. their health, a whole lot. Family not together, the toxic environment, some of them have found themselves in the hostile environment rather and toxic relationships they found themselves in. You know, the what, of from, yeah, the, which is, wasn't a fault of theirs. And you know, they see their parents differently, but now with the pandemic, it's a different ball game and they can't even reconcile how things will go because you know, when two elephants are fighting, the queen suffers and the children are the ones that are suffering at this point. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see how it goes uh, when we come back after this short break with the physicians. Stay tuned.
if you are just joining us here on your regular TV health talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. Today we're talking about a topic, lifeboat saving lives. With me in the studio, we have a pretty girl. Her name is Miss Ugochuku Uzo Ojinaka. And welcome to The Physicians, where your health is our business. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Very well, thank you. You're welcome. You look so pretty. <laughs> and I particularly like what we are going to be talking about, which is lifeboat saving lives. <laughs> okay, so in one of your posts, you said, and I quote, I'm very excited to be doing this. Down deep inside, I feel like bringing the knowledge to children all over the world is very important to help keep the world safe. Especially now that we are all still dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, end of quote. So now you have the platform, on, you have the opportunity on the physicians. You are here live to talk about lifeboat saving lives. So now tell me, what is lifeboat project? Lifeboat project is a project that I form to help children become heroes in the society by teaching them first aid procedures so that when accidents happen, they are equipped with the knowledge to, to, help, to help the victim. Okay. okay well, the, and is there a story behind the lifeboat project? You know, a lot of times when you start a project, either something has happened to you directly or sometimes indirectly, maybe a family member, a friend, a colleague, somebody, you know, and that will give you an idea because solutions usually spawn from challenges that either personally you've dealt with or somebody that you have dealt with. Is there a story life, a yes. story behind the life um, um, project? Let's hear it. Okay. Hello. So when I was small, I always played around in my neighborhood park. And then one day, there was this little boy that was swinging and then he fell down from the swing and then he hurt his head and then we were only children that were around uh, aunties and aunties, they weren't there so we were all very confused on what to do and when we didn't know anything no first aid information we didn't know to stop the bleeding we didn't know to, to raise him up and take him anywhere so he was just there and he was bleeding and he left a concussion later on mm. and I thought that I could have stopped it if I had known what to do but because I didn't know what to do, the situation I had got worse. So Lifeboat aims at giving children this information so that when things like that happen, and they do happen very frequently, they know what to do. Awesome. That's amazing. Yes. You know, you know, because I can imagine, how old were you then? I was six. Six. And six now you are like 16. So yes. 10 years after, you found that you know, particular incident very instrumental in... You know, giving back to the society. That, that is beautiful. So what are the age group that you are targeting actually? I'm targeting ages 6 to 17. Okay. Any particular reason? What about 3 years, 4 years? You think they are too young, right? No. No child is too young to be a hero. Mm -hmm. But I'm targeting 6 to 17 because I feel that from age 6, you're able to remember this information I am giving you. And even though you are six, you can still be able to implement it. Whereas from three to five, I would even I, I don't think I can trust them with any cup syrup or scissors. <laughs> so they can learn it, but I don't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable using mm. it. Cause that on its own could lead to accidents. Mm, mm. Except maybe it's an age appropriate kind of yes. um, um, first aid you are giving them. Yes. Your, your age group is fantastic. Cause yes, 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 that's like right primary mm -hmm. one to SS three kind of age group. So yes, yes they can follow through what it is. What is the purpose of the lifeboat? The purpose of the lifeboat is to help children become heroes in society and to alleviate the numbers of to alleviate numbers of problems that happen due to them not knowing what to do in these kind of situations. Okay. Yeah. So um, how do you plan on achieving the aims of the lifeboat? So you should tell us about the aims. What do you want to really achieve? What I want to achieve is to teach children around me and in Nigeria as a whole about first aid information and situations and the procedures. And then to also teach nannies and tutors, mean people around children, mm. to teach them what to do when things happen. And to also donate 
customized first aid kits I call life boat kits in places where children frequent such as churches and playgrounds so that they do have the materials to help a victim hmm. awesome that is very you know you you starting from an incident and you are taking it globally because Nigeria is the most populous black race in the world yes. you capture Nigerians you are capturing almost the yeah. whole, you know, a group of people. But at this point, it's good for us to know the kit that form your lifeboat project. So people can see, they want this, even if they are not feeling it, but they can see it and know that this and this is what the lifeboat project kit looks like. Okay, so I actually have it here with me. Okay, okay please. Okay. Oh, awesome. That would be beautiful. Yes, can put it here. Please put it here. You can and sit and stand if you want to yeah. demonstrate or anything. Demonstrate so, so that we can, yes, just see what it is. My yes. lifeboat kit is only have a lock like most first aid kids do. Okay. It doesn't have a lock? Mm. Yes. Because, because it's for children and what? Yes. And in cases where they need the first aid kit and person with the key is not there. This solves the problem, and so children can be able to use it quickly. Oh, and it's so the first thing that comes to mind is it doesn't have, have a lock, lock. Yes. <laughs> because you are dealing with children, children. so yes. it's easier for them. Yes, beautiful concept. Okay, and can I get up? It's colorful. Mm. Beautiful, I can see that because children love colors. Children love colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I customize it because this is not what a normal first aid kit mm. has. Firstly, I have sanitizer and yeah. face mask. Look, now that you've talked about sanitizer <laughs> and face mask, is it because of the pandemic? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Because of the times we're in, I don't want any case where some the the first aider is getting is getting a disease from the victim. Yeah, yeah. So, mm, the awesome. face masks and yeah. So bring it out. I think. Mm -hmm. So just raise it. Yes. So this is this is the uh, sanitizer. sanitizer. Okay. And then I also have. So what do you do with the sanitizer? Well, it is for the use of the first aider to sanitize your hands okay, go and kill the germs before and after. Use yes. okay. okay. And then I also have face masks and gloves. Mm. Beautiful. So after using the sanitizer, I wear, you wear the gloves. gloves yeah. Then the face, face mask. Yes. So yeah. that comes that's the sequence. You, you, you yes. wash your hands, use the sanitizer, yes. the way you wear your gloves yes. before you put on your face mask. Yes. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. Then I also have a yeah. perspective. Okay. Yeah. So sanitize the area of the wound mm. and injury mm. so that it doesn't get infected. infected. Okay. And then I have sanitary pads. So wow, yeah. that is really <laughs> considerate for the female. Yeah. <laughs> so you think they're in an emergency? They might probably. Well, it's not only during emergencies, really. Yeah, exactly. Because, if, like you said in your discussion, you said you can actually have it in the park, mm -hmm. yes. and even in the supermarkets, uh, shopping malls, yeah. and strategic places, right? Yes. Yeah. So for females, knowing that I think this is a very good yeah, one. It is. For females, knowing that they have a first aid box. Okay, that has a sanity towel. Yeah. If you will not just go there and carry the box, mm -hmm. yes. she will just take one that she will require yes. at that point in time. Mm. Yes. Mm. And then I have cotton wool. Yeah, that we, they can use for the wound yeah. and the, if there's any bleeding. Spirit. Spirit, mm. Yes. Wow. Mm. And then I have bandages. This ones are for springs and strings. Springs, yeah. 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 Good. Then, Good. So it means if you have the bandages there. So it also means that they will, we need to also enlighten the children mm -hmm. and teach them and on how, how to, to use, use it, yes. use it, the band. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I have cups to for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Should in case this they need it. it. Yes. yes. This is such a compact first aid, like yes. on the go. Yes. Wow. Like yeah, yeah, some towels, 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 towels in different colors. colors. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. <laughs> if it's for the boys, <laughs> if it's for the girls, and if you want to neutral, yes, yellow. I can assure yeah. you, when the boys go there, they'll pick the blue towel. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the girls will go for the pink. The pink. And Why is that so really? It, it's just a, a norm, <laughs> like blue for boys, pink yeah, for girls. But some red girls say, no, 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 I want something neutral. The yellow, yeah, yellow, yeah, which is good. And awesome. then finally, I have tissue and scissors. Yeah. Wow. So for the cutting of the paste, yes. they want to bandage and all yes. that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is awesome. Uh, and it, it's quite amazing how, you know, you've come to this concept. You can see it. You've come to this concept with, this is what it is. So is this like a one um, a package kind of thing? Do you have them like a smaller package with, every other, with everything here? In smaller sizes? Yes. Aha. They are also customized according to location. Okay. Like wow, this is another interesting thing. Yeah. 
customized according to location. location. So tell us what yeah. different what locations have you uh, looked at or where you think you can use them. So in my school they are we're divided into four houses. Okay. And I did not want to just bring one lifeboat because if somebody is having a situation in one house at the north of the school, I, I didn't want it like life is not at the south of the school. Yes. So I, I bought four life. I made four life boats and I put it in each corner. Okay. So that if anything happens, there's always the closest case there. Mm. How did you get your funding? Oh, my mother. <laughs> wow. So now your mom is your financier. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have, have to work together. Family, yeah. Yes. Family, friends, with first. But of course, um, this is life changing. And of course, um, looking out for grants and um, you know givers, this yes. will really help. But if you have to go to low um, on the self communities. Like the rural the communities, rural communities. Your places like where community. you have to use a, a a boat to cross Kenu, yeah, to go to the river area, areas. Areas. Have you ever thought, thought about that for now? Well, we're planning to go to a school in the middle <laughs> on an island sort of thing. You have to use the canoes to go there. Okay, will it be the same thing you'll be putting, or you will customize it based on that type yes. of location? I would customize it based on this thing. Like I would, I, I would add insects and things mm. for insects because Repe repellent. 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 What? just hold it there you will <laughs> add insect repellent so you are just telling going to tell us when we come back okay <laughs> about what we do if you go to a rural community yes. it's getting very interesting don't go we'll be back after the short break stay tuned I don't know live boat. Live boat is, uh, is a kind of a, a first aid, like you have a first aid kid in the house. I'm hearing this for the first time. A first aid kid is a, a kind of uh, tools that is used to take care of someone that have a wound before taking the person to hospital. The, the normal parastamol, we have the, the bandage, Maybe we have uh, the, uh, the cotton wool, then we have uh, aspirin, then we have some other things that are necessary for, your, for an emergency. We have bandage, we have uh, scissors, we have cotton wool, spirits, iodine, uh, what else? Parastamol or something like that, yeah. Yes, I have, I have at home. No, I don't. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, you are on to a regular TV health talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. We'll be talking about lifeboats, saving lives. And in the studio, we have a very young girl, 60-year-old, Miss Ugochuku Uzo Ojinaka. She's been telling us a whole lot about the lifeboat. It's actually like a lifesaver, like a first aider, and which she created by herself. Of course, she had to ask her mom for the financing. <laughs> and she told us also about the, the contents of the box. So let's ask her, why is she adding insecticide? So welcome back. So why are you actually adding insecticide? Tell us something about the rural community that you want to visit. Well, I want to visit my state, in most states, my village, actually. <laughs> 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 when I've been there, like, yeah. in the Christmas, there are many types of insects like a lot and they always sting and it's not always mosquito most times it's actually not mosquito mm. and they always leave you with this form of rash and you don't know how to like sunflower yeah yes so if i bring this life put to my village i'm going to add insecticides insect repellents and creams to like vaseline and creams that can cure these things so that because sometimes this insect in actually this insect stings actually this is something worse and they don't know what it is so because so I want to combat this thing earlier on. So once they have the insect sting, they just use it, and to also have insect repellents so that insect would even come their way in the first place. Uh, uh. You know when when you hear the word lifeboat, what comes to our mind is that boat in the river or you know ferry and all that. And I'm sure you kind of hear that a lot. When you are trying to like tell people what you do, lifeboat project, 
saving lives. It's okay. So do you have any boats? How do you do it? What, what, how do you explain it to somebody? This is what I mean. Not necessarily what you think. So, lifeboat literally is a boat that used to rescue people from a point of disaster on the sea and take them to a safer location. Yeah. So, my pet project is a lifeboat because the skills that I teach and the lifeboat skills that I donate will carry a victim from a point of, with, from, a, from a dangerous this point, point to a less dangerous point and to possibly save their lives in, this, in the process. Awesome. I just needed the people to understand to understand that because there's what we call log line. There's what we call, you know, um, when somebody hears about something, they want to know exactly what it means. And you have those broken it down to the basics. Like an H3 we'll child will understand. Did you go to any school uh, any to particular acquire, training, particular training to acquire this? No, I'm teaching myself. Mm. You, so you really have the interest. <laughs> yes. So what actually, do you want to tell us about yourself? What do you plan to do in future? In the future, I want to become a pediatric surgeon. Hey! Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need yeah. more doctors. Yes. Not just a pediatrician, <laughs> but a pediatric <laughs> surgeon. Yes. Uh, who is your role model? Well, actually, <laughs> Ben Carson. Ah! <laughs> wow. That's interesting. So not Nigerian. No, I, I'm going to line... After this show, give you a list of pediatric surgeons that we have in Nigeria that are doing amazingly well. So, how many people are in this project with you? Well, it's me, my mother, and then my auntie, and my two sisters. Oh, I mean, 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 but you need to acknowledge them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm and how excited are they? They are very excited. Very excited. They're yes. to be here. Okay, so <laughs> have you done this in your church environment or in your communities? Have you actually yes. uh, done it? I did this in my, my church, my school, and in my neighborhood, my estates. So what's the future of Lightboat? Well, the future is that I want to, I don't want my mom to keep financing me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I go to university, I want to get connections, get a job so I can finance myself and then spread it to more schools, more places, more playgrounds. Mm -hmm. I might even say playground. I want to go to a playground. Okay. And then I want to keep teach I want to start I want to teach children. Because right now because I'm in SS three and with all the exams coming up, I'm not being be able to really teach them how to use it. So I want to have like a session where I can actually teach people how to use it and then donate it so that they know what to do with it. Right now they don't they know what to do with it. But I want people to I want them to know that even in a situation where they don't have a light boat, they know what to do. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank even you. in situations where they don't have a light boat, they know what to do. Thank you so much. So my viewers out there you have heard it from her. I just wish and I pray that other children will actually emulate what she's doing. Nigeria is our country. We have no other way. We have no other one to go through. If you start your own bits, we'll be able to do very well. Thank you so much for coming on the Thank program. You, and for you out there, for children, do your bits. Do your best. Always let something push you to be something that is also very good. Again, I say thank you for staying tuned with us on your regular program, The Physicians, where your health is our business. Thank you very much. Awesome. For a 16-year-old, she's already doing amazingly well. We can only wish her the very best. And of course, she already has put in strategies on how to grow this initiative. And to you out there, you have to ask yourself, what are you doing for humanity? What contribution are you putting in your community to enhance and improve? Past lives. Think about it and start something today. It's not all about the government. It starts with you and us. I remember Dr. Memuna Yusuf Kadri. And please don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. And if you want to be a part of this program, you are just a click away. Till next time, stay blessed. And I'm Dr. Martina Agbirian. See you next week. Stay blessed. Hi, um, my name is Dr. Eugene Wosu, um, consultant cardiologist and chief medical director of 
United Heart Hospital in Lagos, Nigeria. So stay tuned and continue watching the physicians and you're going to learn a lot about how to take your care of yourself and your loved ones. Silence is not yes because there are some physiological functions that will make a victim at certain point to, to freeze, not to react. And uh, a lot of studies have been done in lower animals okay. because it happens also in lower animals. For example, you know a centipede. Okay. Oh. If a centipede senses an attacker, 